It's a big day in the 608. We're getting ready to distribute all those coats for kids donations that you gave us this year. Yes, we are. Josh Brinder live in Madison this morning with more on that local impact. 30 years and running here, Josh. Yeah, guys, we are proud to be part of this event for 37 years with the Community Action Coalition and Clinky Cleaners. Now, the next couple of days are the next step of this huge campaign this year. More than 4,000 coats were donated, and now it's time to distribute those to all of our local families in need. I want to bring in Jeremy Adi this morning with the Community Action Coalition. Jeremy, good morning. Good morning. So this is the day you guys have been waiting for, or what? Just over five hours away from the first families arriving. Yeah, starting at noon, people will be showing up all the way from noon till 6 today, noon to 6 on uh, Friday. Looking forward to having them here. We have 385 households registered today, so looking forward to seeing all of them. So more than 4,000 coats. That was a really impressive number you guys are happy with this year. Absolutely. The number keeps going up every year. It's the generosity of the community. It's generosity of Clinky to clean these and get them to us in a good time that we can get them set up for people. I'm just really impressed, and we know the need is greater this year, so it's great to see that many coats. Yeah, that generosity is coming at an important time as we have inflation. We're talking about coming out of the pandemic as well, so the need is there here. Here. Absolutely. The need is very huge. Um, like I said, we're seeing with the numbers, 385 households today, about 200 households tomorrow. Um, we also, we do this event also in Jefferson County in, uh, a week from Friday and then Waukesha County two weeks from now. And the numbers there are very high as well. So we just, we see a lot of demand, a lot of need. So we're glad that we're going to be able to meet those needs. Okay. So families are coming out here today. How is it going to look here at 1902 Wright Street? Yeah. So when they show up, um, we will have the parking lot set up for them to park. We'll have an area blocked off where you'll see the racks that are around us. So the coats will be out there. We will have tents up that will have activities and other items that will be given away. Way. There will be tents in the back that we will actually have COVID booster and or vaccines if they haven't had those that will be available and free for people to get those as well as their children if they need those shots. Um, but it'll be very, I guess the best way to put it, Josh, will be organized chaos. 385 households, it's going to be probably about a thousand people here today. We'll get them going through as fast as we can and as organized as we can, but we just ask people to pack a little bit of patience. So as far as the signage go, you might notice winter glow. Yes. That is this. Yeah, so Coats for Kids has been around 37 years, but because CAC covers three counties, we cover Jefferson, Waukesha, and Dane County, we have named it Winter Glow um, just for more recognition in those other counties. What we ran into a struggle was, as Coats for Kids is unique to Dane County with Channel 3 with CAC and with Clinky, Jefferson County has coats for kids, Waukesha County has coats for kids, Milwaukee County has coats for kids. So we didn't want people to confuse us with other long-term programs that are in those counties. So we renamed it Winter Glow last year. Uh, the signage you'll see says Winter Glow. It is coats for kids. It's just a different name so that other counties recognize it and are able to um, participate in the program to the best of their ability. All right, so let's throw the information up on the screen for today and tomorrow. What are the details? The major details, if you are registered, get here at noon, we will check you in. In. It does not matter if you're registered at noon or five. The good coats are still going to be here. We rotate the coats throughout the day. You'll check in. We'll walk you through. You'll be able to collect the coats you need for you and your family and whoever's registered. If you are not registered, come tomorrow. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of people today, a little less tomorrow, so it should get you through a little more quickly. Um, if you have a cell phone, bring it along. We will give you a QR code that you can download. You can register while you're standing in line. If you have not registered, you can check in with us and we'll get you moving through. Um, but we're excited. We hope to have great weather. We hope to have um, a lot of people here and just make it as much fun for the families as possible um, and provide people just the opportunity to stay warm this winter. Amazing work. And not only can you come get your coat, you also are going to have COVID shots and boosters on site. Absolutely. We will have COVID shots, boosters. So if you haven't had those, please bring, if you need your booster, bring your card. We do need that. We need to check off your card, um, but they will do that for you. If you've had one shot but not the second, bring your card. We will have a team here, I believe, noon to 3 today and then noon to 6 tomorrow that you can get your COVID booster to get your shots um, and we'll make sure we get you through that way as well um, and we have plenty of band-aids wonderful yeah it's like a twofer right you can Excellent. come get your code come get your shot you guys are doing it all absolutely trying to trying to meet them where they're at and try and provide as many services as possible um, and be a one-stop shop and that's really what CAC tries to do for people well thank you for your amazing work we appreciate it and we want to thank everyone at home for making this year such a successful one again here guys but again that need is still there so Jeremy had talked about this earlier that if you are already looking to head to next year that starts today so you can start uh, donating and getting ready for 2023 already guys so we are super super happy to be proud of this making a big difference in the community that's for sure you sure are talking about taking action Josh Breider live this morning thanks Josh
Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured.